hurricane as um, from this vantage point a very clear indication of uh, the size of the storm. And uh, Joe Tanner, this is, I believe, your fourth mission. How, how, how are the missions different, if they are, now than they were in your earlier missions? Well, Brad and I were talking about that the other day. Uh, one of the factors is that I'm older, and the tra uh, transition to this environment uh, seemed to take an extra day or two than it did when I was younger. Each mission has been a little bit different and uh, rewarding in its, uh, in own, re its own regard. Um, my best reward, I think, probably uh, on this mission was to, to see these uh, other three uh, stellar spacewalkers uh, go out and, and perform uh, like they wanted to perform and, and really uh, meet the expectations that everybody had of them and, and the training that they had. And uh, that, that just really uh, was tremendously satisfying for me. That's uh, great music for a uh, for what will be a bittersweet day for us today on dock from the station, and uh, uh, what uh, what hopefully will be some pretty good pictures during a fly around. Uh, thanks very much to uh, Sandy, Lara, Eric, and Ian. Uh, he said the uh, logbook has been completed. All the ceremonies uh, have uh, taken place, and the SDS 115 crew is. Regressing the station for the final time. We copy, and uh, we appreciate you keeping up a wonderful tradition. The crew of Atlantis uh, bidding farewell to the Expedition 13 crew, completing six days of uh, docked operations with the complex. leaving the uh, station a much larger uh, complex than it was before Atlantis arrived. The MAX officer here in the shuttle flight control room confirms that the hooks are open. At uh, 7.49 and 57 seconds. Undocking of Atlantis right on time from the International Space Station. With the Space Shuttle Atlantis at least 400 feet away from the space station now, the Falcon or the power heating articulation and...